back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing my weekly planner for week three and four and I just wanted to show it to you so here we go. <laughs> um, I'm actually starting off with my steps and my sleep tracker because I actually didn't add this to my tracker before and I did want to but I decided to put this in the middle of the month because I did start in the middle. I did track on my phone but I wanted to do it on my bullet journal as well. So, um, I decided to add this into it and as well as another, like a brain dump page, which is what I'm going to be doing in the next few minutes. Um, I decided to stay with the same theme, you know, cause I didn't want to just bring something in, into the whole month and I kept the colors the same. I used my Crayola super tip pens like I'm doing now. And then of course my favorite Castell pens, I used all four, <laughs> the BSM and F and I think I'm probably using the F right now while I'm creating oh look you can see my head sorry <laughs> um and it's very simple and very easy I you know I follow the same thing with the branches coming out of everywhere and with the right side of this page was my videos ideas videos ideas ah, I can't do voiceovers I really can't I'm so sorry this is my ideas page which is also my brain dump um, I just like to put ideas because it's just simpler. And then again, I went in with my little Crayola Super Tip in the reddish burgundy color and I made my berries and very simple, very easy. I didn't want to overdo it. I just wanted another page because I ran out of my other one. <laughs> and now I'm moving into week three. Now week three, I decided to do very um, compact. It's a very busy week for me, um, but I didn't want to also overdo it, but I think I did overdo it. I don't know. You guys can decide. You can tell me. You can leave uh, a comment if you really think that I overdid it or if I need to, you know, calm down. But based on how much I'm going to be doing on this week, I really think that I'm okay with it. Um, and I made my first mistake using a Unipub, <laughs> though I went over the mistake that I made because I was supposed to write Saturday and I wrote Sunday. Naughty me. <laughs> but anyways, I did go back over it. Um, but first I had to wait for it to dry. So while I was doing that, I decided to get my Crayola Super Tip pen or pen or crayola and draw these little falling berries now the reason I did this is because later I go in and I start making these branches that go through Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and I kind of like it um I did feel like they started to kind of get lost in the, the branches that I made so later I went back and underlined them in red or the burgundy color so that you could still see them and then I kept my pattern with my berries I just kind of went downward a little bit with all of them and then my Sunday is at the very bottom and then I have um I think it's horizontal so that you know I have still some space but you know, at the same time, it's still the same size. And then of course my uni checklist, which is just anything that I have to do for university, I can write down there that I can just check off what I need to do. One of the things I can tell you is that, um, to try to like center your words, I don't know why, but I'm so picky about that. Um, not that, you know, I'm going to check your booklet, but you know, your journal, but I don't know. It just always bothers me. Now moving on to the right side of my bullet journal planner and I wrote notes because sometimes I need to write notes, you know, on the side of things that I need to do for the next month or anything like that. And then of course, setting up my monthly, uh, mini glance month. <laughs> That, that that is not very well explained anyways you understand you're looking at it but it's just so that I can see what's coming up and all and all that and then I as you can see I wrote next week in pencil but I decided to take it off and just put a quote in it because I was gonna already set up my week four so I'm like that's kind of pointless for me to have a next week when I already have week four um made so I can just you know flip back and forth so I decided on this one I was created to create because I just feel that create is my word this year. I need to create more. And I really like this and I found this on the internet so I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and write it. Um, and then I moved on to the, oh wait, 
that's right. I grabbed a black uh, Faber Castell pen and it kind of just outlined in black. So it kind of bolded it out a little bit. And then, okay, yes, I went ahead and did more branches. Um, you know, you'd think I'd be kind of over them, but I'm kind of not. I'm not really over my little branches with my berries. <laughs> Um, now this is kind of cool. I'm making a creative project every month. I want to do something that's creative and artistic. I feel like that's kind of something that I've let go of. So this little section right here is just more for me. Um, for anything that I need for my creative project, I will put it right here. As you can see, I didn't like my writing, so I covered it up and then I went back in with my Unibot pen and I just wrote creative project again. I think it looks okay and then I did a little bit more berries just for the heck of it and that's it for this planner oh wait no I did I went go back <laughs> go back and rewind I did go back and outline some of the things that I wanted um to separate but it wasn't a lot so now I'm moving into week Four. Now week four I did very simple because I felt like I was going to be winding down the month so I probably didn't need so much on the planner that I'm good, gonna be seeing, you know, for a whole week until February. February is probably gonna be a very busy month for myself, but I still, you know, I wanted to keep it simple. But I did grow on my uni checklist because I know that I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more. So I did do that. And of course, my note section, but I did drop a lot of other things. Um, and then, so you can see me doing my uni check and then I just did a little little bullet going downward and the note section I actually did falling berries again but this time I didn't add the branches at the top I just did falling berries um, and I did it uh, three and then skip one and then three again and then of course at the very bottom right February because of course that's next month I actually ended up loving this planner week because of this little berry bush <laughs> um and not because it's pretty or anything but because I put a quote next to it and I love the quote but I just think it's the perfect way to end it with just one little bush of all these accumulated berries and of course next to it I put my February at a glance month just so that I can see what February is going to look like I didn't do like a future because I normally put all the future events that I have in my notes. So that's why I kind of made notes very big and bulky. Um, and then I went over here and then just put some accent colors. And then I wrote my quote that was inspired, <laughs> not inspired. Uh, I grabbed it from the internet because I found it and I just thought that it fit very well. The hardest step she ever took was to blindly trust in who she was all right so that's my bullet journal finished this is my final flip through i hope you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel if you have not remember i post every saturday so i'll see you guys then